Oops. Did it again. Another coffee machine. Is this one good or not? Let's find out. Okay, so already I've got my coffee machine plugged in. It only beeps once when it's on. Not really much of an indication to say that it's switched on and plugged in, but it is so. Oh well. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. There is a button back there which will stop the dripping from the top. So that's quite good. So I'll take that part in a moment. I've got some ground coffee. I've got two mugs. I'll be doing two different brew methods to taste the difference. Smart mug so it'll keep the temperature after I brew the first one and just a normal mug for the second one. I'm doing a ratio of about 3 to 50 which means one tablespoon of coffee to 250 ml of water. However that equates to how you do coffee is up to you but that's what I'm going to do just to test it out because that seems to be quite a good ratio for like V60s and that sort of thing. So, the only thing I didn't get was a paper filter. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with everything I need to make coffee. So, in my jug I do have a pre dampened paper filter. Oh, something else. There's a little button there that stops you dripping if you take the car out. Which is good. Two mugs. Smart mug that'll keep the coffee warm. And a regular mug. So, I'll mm -hmm. use that one first. Then onto that one so I can compare the two different coffee brew methods together. I have some coffee, I have some water. Excellent. So the way I'll be brewing it, I've gone for a ratio of about 3 to 50, which means one tablespoon of coffee to 250 ml of water. And that should give me about enough for a cup of coffee. So that should, hopefully, work out well. So let's do this. Let's get this thing out. Oops. So, that's quite handy, let's commit. So let's go, my handy dandy coffee scoop. Just normal bog standard coffee, nothing special, I've not gone for any particular style or brew type, just standard coffee that I tend to keep in the cupboard. So that's a probably a medium to dark roast about it, nothing special, nothing really expensive or anything like that. Okay, get the water in there. Tend to go for the 250. That's 250 there. Do not waste water or electricity, especially these days. Okay, so that when we get this ready. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can never find a stopwatch for another. Alright, here we go. So, got a few different methods, so let's do that method and see how long this takes and how noisy it is and that sort of thing. Should be quite interesting, I must admit. Because I've been using a bean to cut machine more often recently. That's actually boiling quite quickly, although you can't see it from there. So, it's quite quick. It's already clouding up as you can see there is steam coming from the vent in the top so you don't want to put it too close to sort of underneath a cap nose or anything like that even though it is a fairly low height considering with some machines a lot bigger some, some are a lot lower but it's not overly tall that's actually boiled really quickly because the whole base of the water contained there is the heating element so there you go and that's already clicked to say that it has reached temperature and already dripping. That's surprisingly quick. That is crazy quick. That's only 1 minute 17 seconds for coffee to come through already. Wow. I'm shocked just how quick that is. See how long it takes to actually filter all the way through. Okay, it's not going to be a huge amount of coffee, 250ml, but, you know, It'll do for a cup of coffee. Don't want to overdo it because uh, I'll end up having many, many, many cups of coffee in one go and never go cold, which I hate. Coffee going cold. That's why I've got the smart mug. So it doesn't go cold and always stays a nice temperature. Oh, we are now. Two minutes. Pretty good. That's come to the pretty much to the minimum two cup mark. It's almost finished dripping. 
Well, I'm shocked at how quickly that is actually. It's quicker than my bean to cut machine. Wow. Still going. The colour looks okay. It doesn't look overly dark. It doesn't look too light. There's not a lot in there, obviously, so it's hard to tell exactly what it is, but oh, it's not bad. Still dripping through slowly. As I said, it's a, a regular just drip coffee which just dumps all the water in and lets it flow through the coffee. So we'll see. And the button is clicked. Should be everything done. Give it a moment to finish. Still slowly dripping through. The same that the sniffle is finished. So it's all finished at what oh, three minutes say. That's three minutes now. That's just the old drip. Quite fascinating to see the water dripping in the, the ripples and the water going back and forth like that is it. Finish this off. I think we'll leave it there. That's not bad at all. Three minutes for a pot of coffee. I know it was a fairly small pot of coffee, but still not all that bad at all. And how is it to pour? Be a lot easier, obviously, with more coffee, so right at the end. Not quite filling that mug, but that's okay because the whole point of it was to test it. And that's it. If I press that again, that turns it off. Pretty good. Can't fault that at all. Okay, I'll reset everything and we'll do the other method. I'll be a sec again. Okay, so we're going to do that all over again. I know I should probably wait for this thing to cool down fully and all of that, but uh, let's just go for it. Okay, so the coffee machine. So once again, coffee in there. Get the carafe out and put the coffee basket in. Hopefully it doesn't mind too much having the water put back in. We'll just see. Once again, 250ml, roughly, I'm not really too anal about it, just get it close, and we'll get ready for the next one, alright, reset, and we've now started the next one. Now this one will take a little bit longer, because as I said, it does stop, it rotates the water around, stops, rotates where it's dripping the water and stops, and so on. So. Should be interesting. Once again, the water boils so quickly because the whole base is the heating element, which is really good. It's like those fast brew kettles, for those of you that do use kettles, instead of having one heat element that's just like a cold piece of wire, the whole base is a piece of metal. So those are definitely the better and quicker ones. I'm still amazed how quickly that does work though. It's pretty good. It's quite impressive really, when you think about it. It's not bad. So that's 43 seconds so far, and the water's already boiling. That's been 40 seconds and the water's already boiling. Yeah, I know it was already possibly a little bit warm already from the previous one, but... Okay, that's a click to say that the water has reached temperature. I said it's, a, yeah, it's got a gold standard, so it will brew it at a particular temperature. It's probably about 80 or something, I don't remember. But, not sure. A little bit dripping out. Actually, I'm just turning at the moment so let a little bit of water through for a pre infusion and let it bloom a little bit, which should be normal. There's a little click. Should. So I can see some water dripping from a couple of the holes, not all of them. We'll see what happens as we go. You can't see it, unfortunately. Maybe I'll do a zoom in. Sure. So that's 150, and it's currently brewing. So it's stopped again. And, well, you can hear it now, can't you? So I won't worry about showing. That's only doing a few of the holes. So that's three holes out of five. So that's quite interesting. 
It's a lot darker looking, I think, so far. It's hard to tell though because there isn't much liquid in there yet. And that has clicked to say it's stopped. It's quite noisy, the fact that it clicks all the time. But it makes sense why. So it's letting that all filter through nicely. Clicks again and a couple of different holes. So that's it's quite nice. So it's kind of alternating, almost like a triangle and going around, different triangle going around. That's quite good. And the water needed heating up again so it's not the optimal temperature. So it's heating that up again as it's dripping more through. That's actually quite good. 240. And click again to see that it's stopped. It's almost finished. Not much water left in the top. Just let a little bit more drip through and there's a last little bit of water to go through. But that is quite interesting, I think, the way they've tried to make it as much like a, a V60 kind of style. So you get the two different brewing methods. I'm not sure how different they'll taste. But that's the whole point of this, isn't it? We shall discover that together and see what the difference is. Right, that's still going. Give it a little bit longer. So it's taking a little bit longer. It's three and a half minutes. But you expect it to be a little bit longer. Another click, another little drip through. See, it's almost the same amount. It does slightly darker, I think. Which would make sense because it's got a slightly longer brewing time and it lets all the water brew so you don't just get a sort of channel in the middle where all the water's gone. It, it, it does at least spread out the water a little bit more so it gives more chance of more of the ground coffee to interact with water. And there's still a little bit of water in the top that it's boiling again just to heat it up. So it's always the right temperature for brewing. Another click. This is quite interesting. It might be quite boring to watch, but it's good to see how it actually works. As it is, I think it's quite fascinating how it works. It's quite good. It's just dripping the final a little bit. Another click. That might mean we're pretty much done. Almost finished. Four and a half minutes, so it's a minute and a half longer. But to be honest, for a cup of coffee, that's not a huge amount of air. It's checking to see if there's any water left. And I think that's safe to say that's probably finished. Yeah. Drips are finished, which I'll now turn off because I don't need the hot plate to be warm because I'm not going to be using it in that way. Let's flip this up. Get the coffee out. Put it into there. And then pour the coffee in an old mug. So it's not the best to pour from because I haven't got a huge amount in it. But it feels okay. The spout's a nice shape. Yeah, so I'm sure it'll be fine. See, the lid does move, so I was holding my thumb there to stop the lid from moving. But it's the only criticism we must have that. It's a nice shape, nice like the handle, it's comfortable. So here we go. Freshly brewed. So, first of all, let's try the normal method. Hmm. It's not bad. It's definitely a nice cup of coffee, but then, you know, the, it all depends on the grinds, doesn't it, really? So, compared to this, well, this is obviously just brewed. Might be a little bit warm. Not too warm to drink, it's actually not bad temperature. Hmm. That's the difference, is Try that one again. There is definitely a difference. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to describe it, though. So, the first cup, normal pour over method, like the drip method, sorry, is slightly more bitter, I think. The second cup, the, like the V60 method, is a lot cleaner kind of flavour to it. There's still a little bit of acidity and bitterness in the end, but this one, you taste it, it's kind of a lot more bitter. Yeah. Still got the fruitiness and so on of the coffee, but it's, it's overall more bitter and this is a lot cleaner flavour, I guess. Yeah, 100%. That is a lot cleaner, more subtle flavours. It's not quite so. So, in your face flavours, I guess. So, this one is just 
basic. It's it's there, all the flavours are there, but they're kind of they're all kind of competing with each other quite strong. Well, this one is a lot cleaner. So it's, it is actually a nicer cup of coffee. Yeah, I prefer the second one. Yeah, that's got, it's more of a initial hit of flavour and a bit of bitterness. And then it kind of goes blank and then there's a little bit at the end, whereas this is kind of consistent through it. It's just a lot cleaner. All, all the flavours kind of are levelled off nicely, whereas this one you've got flavour down and flavour. And it's kind of, it's all over the place a little bit more. It's still quite nice and I wouldn't say no to it. But the V60 method is definitely a lot, like I said, it's, it's a lot cleaner and it's more kind of standard. And it just kind of flows along so you get flavour at the beginning and through the sip. And it just kind of stabilizes a little bit and you get the aftertaste there whereas this you kind of get hit with the bitterness and all that initially and then it kind of goes away and then you get the aftertaste whereas this you just get kind of nice flavor and then you get aftertaste so yeah i definitely go for the v60 yeah it takes almost two minutes longer oh yeah almost two minutes longer but almost two minutes that's nothing for a cup of coffee that's pretty good so i'm impressed with that i must admit but definitely go for the v60 that's the way I would probably brew it in future using this machine, which I think is really good. But the normal method is just like a normal drip machine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's quite nice. It works quickly. It's full of flavour. It's good temperature. Can't fault it. So, yeah, overall, it's a brilliant machine. It's probably the best drip machine I've had, to be honest. I like the way it looks as well. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It looks really good on the countertop. Whereas a normal coffee machine can be a lot of plastic and awfulness but there's a lot of glass which just makes it a little bit more interesting i think so yeah i think that is definitely thumbs up brilliant definitely go for the v60 that is a much better method of brewing so yeah that's what i think anyway so you may disagree but let me know if you've got one and if you found the same thing as me that it's a slightly better flavor with the v60 brewing method that would be interesting to find out what you guys think so Thanks all for watching. Please join me again soon for another review and daily gaming and all the other stuff I do as well. And obviously, whiskey Wednesday. So, see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.